this. There you go. You want some pellets, Gary? Hey, Scott here, Scotty's Animals. Do guinea pigs need pellets? <laughs> well, let's talk about that. I'm Scott, I'm a volunteer at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue, and one of the things that we always say is that hay is 80% of a guinea pig's diet. There's no exceptions, they always need to have hay, they always need to have fresh water, but do they need to have pellets? You know, there's kind of a debate in the guinea pig world. Some people say, oh, no, not really. Other people say, as long as you give them fresh veggies. Now, they do need fresh veggies every day, but if you give them too much, it can cause soft poops, and you have to give them the right veggies. Now, I made a free guinea pig care guide on my website, Scotty's Animals, so I'll put that URL right there. So no matter if you have had guinea pigs all your life or if you're brand new to guinea pigs, check out my free guinea pig care guide and I'm sure there's something there that you'll be able to learn from. And if you've got some advice or some information or maybe even links to your favorite fleece shop that you want to recommend to me to put on my free guinea pig care guide, then there's a contact form. You can send me an email. But of course, my email is just scottysanimals at gmail. So send me a message and check out my free guinea pig care guide. You might be noticing my, my t-shirt here. This is Timmy. Timmy had satin syndrome. He's no longer here with us. But if you want to find out about that and other common illnesses, check my free guinea pig care guide. Do guinea pigs need pellets? Yes, but not all pellets are created equal. Some pellets have little bits of treats in there. Some pellets are mostly filler. Some pellets aren't even made with Timothy hay or alfalfa hay. If you look at the ingredients of most guinea pig pellets, you're gonna see a lot of different ingredients. It's very rare that you will just see a plain pellet with no other ingredients. And the reason why that is, is guinea pigs need a variety of vitamins and minerals as well as just the Timothy hay that they need. Because remember, they should be getting, like we said, 80% of their diet should be Timothy hay. So let's talk about guinea pig pellets and then I'll also talk about which kinds I recommend and of course, a broken record on this I do have links to a variety of guinea pig pellets on my website so you can check that out so what are guinea pig pellets like I said they are a pelleted form of usually Timothy and sometimes alfalfa hay and there's also a debate around whether or not Timothy or alfalfa which one is best some people think that alfalfa has too much calcium and it does have more calcium than Timothy but sometimes it's not just the alfalfa that causes stones but it's other compounds within some of these vegetables that can promote the stones so if you're unsure do the research and talk to your vet specifically if your guinea pig is prone to stones BB what are you doing? Are you going to hang out with me? You're not, are you? You're not going to stay. So why do guinea pigs need pellets? Well, just like all of us, we need a variety of vitamins and minerals, not just 
whatever our staple diet might be. So in the case of guinea pigs, the hay itself isn't going to give them all those vitamins and minerals that they need. Of course, they need fresh veggies, but imagine that the hay, uh, the pellets are actually kind of like a vitamin supplement. They guarantee that they're going to get all the vitamins and minerals that they need. When, like they say, as part of a complete breakfast, when included in a, a diet that's 80% hay and also daily fresh veggies and some fruits. We recommend at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue, mostly veggies, a lot of fruits are just too high in sugar. Okay, you wanna go home? But be quiet then. So just like you and I take a multivitamin to maximize our health, we also want our guinea pigs to have all the vitamins and minerals that they need. So that's where the pellets come in. The guinea pig pellets are going to provide a lot more vitamins and minerals and other things than just the hay and the veggies alone. And you can't really guarantee how much of the hay and, well, usually they will eat all the veggies you give them, but you don't always know what the vitamin content is with those veggies. So just having pellets that have the extra nutrients are a really good option. Most guinea pig pellets are also fortified with vitamins, especially vitamin C. But like I said, with the pellets and with other things, you can't guarantee how much vitamin C they're gonna get, even in a pellet that is guaranteed to have a certain amount of vitamin C. So I do always recommend that you give your guinea pigs the child life liquid vitamin C. You put it in a syringe, you never put it in the water, and you can guarantee that you're gonna give them exactly how much vitamin C they need, which is usually 50 milligrams of vitamin C per day per pig, which is the equivalent of one of those one milliliter syringes. So I just recently did a video about guinea pig heart disease and a lack of vitamin C can cause scurvy, which is one of the major contributing factors to getting heart disease. And vitamin C in itself is one of these essential vitamins. What's going on back there, boys? <laughs> Popeye either was being chased by dice or he decided to jump on the house so that he could have a better access to the top of the hay. And that's the snack shack which I really love. The Snack Shack, you, you uh, stuff it filled with hay and you have hay coming out the top. And it's, in my opinion, it's the best hay rack. It is chewable, it is edible, but if you keep that thing filled, they're gonna eat the hay like they're supposed to. And those hay racks, the Snack Shack, will last for years and years. And it is a tunnel, so also if you keep it filled, they will go through it, they'll chew their way tunnel through it, but they won't be inclined to hang out in it and poop and pee in it and make it gross. So keep that thing filled and it'll be doing its job. That's right, BB. So let's get back to pellets. What kind of pellets do I recommend and what kind of pellets do I use? Well, I've been using a variety of pellets over the years and I even have these pellets. Let me grab this. This is just in case, in case of an emergency, this is a just a completely pure, plain Timothy pellet. It has no extra ingredients, nothing else, but pelleted Timothy. And guess what? The piggies, they don't really like it that much. It does go to show that having the vitamins, the minerals, and other aspects, other ingredients for flavor is going to go a long way to tempting your piggies to eat it and to really enjoy those pellets. So that's important, finding that balance and not all of the ingredients that they will add that make your pellets taste good are, are bad for them. So if you have a brand that you trust, and on my website, like I said, I list a number of different brands that make pellets that we trust. And I suggest that you try out you know, some different types of pellets. You know, is your guinea pig's diet gonna get all screwed up if you switch around and mix up the pellets? 
I don't think so. In fact, the opposite. I think giving them a variety of different pellets is a great option. But when you find pellets that you like, those are going to be the ones that they're going to eat the most. I have recently got, as you can see, two different types of pellets from Small Pet Select. Small Pet Select is a really awesome small company that specializes in small pets, small animals. They actually gave me a 15% off code, which is on my website and I'll put in the, in the description box also. But if you click that link and then you order something, you can get 15% off your entire order. So I have these two bags. They are plain Timothy pellets and there's two different versions. There's one which is basically the regular premium guinea pig pellet. It's a really high quality pellet. It doesn't have any of the junk ingredients. It's fortified with vitamins and minerals and it's really good. It's basically if you are used to Oxbow, it's like that, but with even better, more focused, more conscientiously choiced ingredients. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about guinea pig pellets and clear up some of that confusion. That's one of the questions I get all the time is what kind of pellets do you recommend or do guinea pigs even need pellets? And my answer is they definitely do need guinea pig pellets, but not all guinea pig pellets are created equal. And so hopefully this is uh, a, a way that you can feel confident about the guinea pig pellets that you're giving your piggies. It's definitely something that you want to do. Oh, and let's quick talk about how much should you give? Well, I think a nice small scoop every day is fine. They do say about an eighth of a cup or some people say a quarter of a cup. Guinea pigs in general can't be overweight. Guinea pigs, when they're sick, they can lose so much weight. So they can lose you know 50 grams in a day when they are sick and they're not eating so having that extra bit of chunk that extra bit of fat it allows them to not starve right away so if your guinea pig has tooth issues or if they're feeling under the weather for whatever reason that little bit of extra weight can save their life so don't worry about that and Really, if my guinea pig's bowls are empty, I will just fill them up again. I always want them to have access to pellets. If you notice that your guinea pigs are eating a, the full bowl and then you fill it up and they eat it again and they're eating three bowls a day, maybe that's excessive. But I like a small ceramic bowl or I also like the Piggy's Choice bowl. It's metal and it doesn't flip and it's a kind of a shallow bowl. And if you just fill that thing up, that's an appropriate amount of food for your guinea pigs in a day. So I'll put a link in the description to the Piggy's Choice Bowl. And I guess I talked about the Snack Shack, so I'll put a link to that too. And all the other things I talked about, as well as a link to the coupon code well, you just click that link and it will take you to Small Pet Select and you will automatically have your coupon for 15% off the entire purchase. So I also want to mention that this t-shirt, as well as other t-shirts, I've got another cute heart guinea pig t-shirt up on the shop. And these t-shirts, if maybe if you order today, they will get there in time for Valentine's Day, but they're just a sweet, cute way to show your love for your piggies and to show the world that you love piggies. But you know what? Valentine's Day or any day, this is a really cute, sweet t-shirt. I love wearing it and I love being able to talk about my sweet Timmy and talking about my guinea pigs. So until next time, thanks for watching. Where's Mike? Is Mike in there too? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> you guys switched. You're so funny. Pip squeak. You're getting them all worked up. You're getting those boys all worked up. No, you gotta calm down. Come on.
Pippi, come over here and eat, eat your lunch. Pippi, come on. Eat your lunch. <laughs>